Well, Academy Award winning actor Philip Seymour Hoffman, dead at 46 years old of an apparent heroin overdose. Drug related deaths are unfortunately becoming all too common in Hollywood and a growing trend across the nation, as we've heard recently. Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Mehmet Oz. Doctor, thanks for being here and, and talking about this certainly sad news um, that we're hearing. Let's talk about addiction and actually what medically what happens there and specifically how heroin can affect um, the body, the brain, the heart specifically. Well, addictions you. in general are they're, they're chronic, they're fatal, and they're often incurable. I mean, they have the survival rates are very similar to having cancer. And a lot of us don't appreciate that, but I remember very distinctly anesthesiologists, of course, they have access to these kinds of drugs that I train with, dying the night of our graduation by mistake, overdosing. So even if you think you know what you're doing, it's not that easy. And the biggest problem today is that the heroin that it was on the streets 30 years ago that used to be made in kitchens in Harlem, it was almost impotent. I mean, it had very little power to it. The heroin today is 40 times stronger. And when you 40 get, times? 40 times Why? stronger. Well, part of it is because it's being made in Mexico and in Bolivia and large cartel factories that are, you know, these are scientists making high quality stuff. The big issue is that unlike pharmaceutical products where you get exactly the same dose every time, mm -hmm. these very doses just vary dramatically. So imagine if your Advil one day was the normal dose, the next day was 50 times stronger. It becomes impossible to predict how it's going to affect you. Not that you should be injecting heroin into your veins anyway, sure. but it is a big issue. And the problem with heroin is the most addictive of all drugs because it gives you a pure form of ecstasy, of, of bliss, where you just feel everything good because it's essentially mimicking what happens in your body when good things happen to you. It's an endorphin, but supercharged. So that's how it makes you feel, but what's it do to your body parts? What's it do to your heart, your brain? What well, puts you to sleep, we actually use it as a heart surgeon. I put people to sleep with a heroin equivalent, which is morphine. Uh, it's very powerful at getting you to, to sedate your respiratory process, to let you go completely. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happens when people die. It's also sedative to the heart. It slows it down in a very calming way. But of course, under monitored settings, it works. And under monitored settings, it's terrible. And the problem with heroin in particular is especially addictive. That's why we tend to use morphine, a cousin of it, in the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, the big issue with everyone out there is what, even if you have an addiction, and we know we send celebrities in particular, but everyone goes off to rehab and they come back. I wish it was that easy. Most folks do relapse. It's so difficult to come back and crawl your way above. Because he was on it for a while, and then he was clean, and then, I guess, just in the last year, yeah. back on it. And there's a particularly bad batch out there now that's mixed with fentanyl, which is uh, another uh, powerful medic medication uh, that's killed a bunch of people in the East Coast. He may have gotten the batch of that. I understand there were four packets found in, his, uh, in, the, in the bathroom. You know, oftentimes... Uh, addicts will walk around with 10 packets. So whether he'd gone through a bunch of them or he had a lot more that he was going to go through, who knows? But it's a tragic loss. And for the, the big message for everyone out there watching is if you have a loved one who's addicted, you, that you have to assume that they will always be addicted. Continuing to nudge them in the right direction is the only way you'll get them back. Okay. And it's remarkably impossible to predict. Dr. Oz, thank you. Great insight today. Thank we, you, my friend. We welcome all Thanks, your sir. words.